Hello guys, welcome to Pinoy Ipsum channel. So discuss naman natin ngayon ang physics. So let us start with physical quantities and vectors. Pero bago tayo magsimula, pakipindot naman ng subscribe button and pakilike naman ng video na to. So thank you guys. So we have learning goals. By studying this topic, you will learn, number one, know the difference between scalars and vectors, and how to add and subtract vectors. Number two, how to resolve the given vector into x and y components. Number three, how to determine the resultant and equilibrant analytically. No? So, yung... Itong tatlo na to guys ang matutunan natin after na ma-discuss ang topic na to. Okay. We have physical quantities, no? So, ano ba ang physical quantities, no? So, discuss natin guys, no? Or define natin guys. So, features of an item that can be measured, no? Has two components. So, the numerical value of the quantity and its unit. Or, consists of numerical magnitude and the unit. Example, 3 meters. So, yung 3 represent the numerical value or the numerical magnitude and the meters represent the unit. Okay, guys. So, we have two types of physical quantities, no? So, we have scalar quantity. is a quantity that has magnitude and usually a unit of measure, no? Examples, distance, speed, time, energy, and mass. Now, number two. The vector quantity no, is a quantity with magnitude, direction, and usually a unit of measure. No? Example dito guys, displacement, velocity, acceleration, and force. We have three important parts of vector. No? We have arrowhead indicates the direction of the vector. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the vector. Then the tail represents the origin of the vector. Now, sa adding and subtracting of vector, guys, may tatlo tayong kategory, no? So, we have letter A, vectors acting in the same direction. The resultant of two vectors in the same direction is a vector whose magnitude is equal to the sum of their magnitudes and acts in the same direction as they do. Now, take note guys, the resultant is the sum of two or more vectors. Example, meron tayong direction dito, uh, north, south, east, and west. No? Example, we have vector A is equal to 6 meters, papuntang east. Then, vector B is equal to 10 meters, papuntang east then, So, pareha sila. So, the resultant is equal to A plus B or 6 meters plus 10 o yung resultant is equal to 16 meters to the east. Now, for the letter B, no? So, vectors acting in opposite direction. Uh, subtracting naman ito guys no? so the resultant of two vectors acting in, the, in opposite direction is a vector whose magnitude is the difference of their magnitudes and which acts in the direction of the greater vector now example so we have vector A is equal to 3 kilometers uh, going to west no? Then, for the vector B is equal to 2 kilometers going to east. Now, the resultant is equal to A minus B or 3 kilometers minus 2 kilometers is equal to 1 kilometer no? to the west. No? 
Now, for the category C, no? So, Victor's acting in any direction. Now, dito guys, we have a general method of finding a resultant. Number one, yung tinatawag na polygon method or the graphical method. So, pwede siyang i-graph uh, using graphing paper, no? So, makukuha mo yung resultant. Number two, parallelogram method, no? So, involved rito yung trigonometry, no? Number three, analytical method or tinatawag na vector addition by components. So, involved din rito yung uh, trigonometric functions, no? Now, for the polygon method or the graphical method, no? In this method, you will use the coordinate system or direction guide as a frame of reference. So, meron tayong steps, no? Number one, choose an appropriate scale and frame of reference for the given vectors, no? Number two, draw the first vector starting from the origin of the reference frame, Draw the second vector starting from the head of the first vector and draw the third vector from the head of the second vector. All vectors must be connected in series or head-to-tail fashion. Number three, to determine the resultant vector, connect the tail of the first vector to the protector in measuring its direction. Number two, parallelogram method. So, this method used in determining the resultant of two vectors. No? The diagonal of the parallelogram from the same point of the origin represents the resultant. Now, for the analytical method or vector addition by components. So, maran tayong steps. No? Number one, resolve the vectors into their components in x and y direction. So, let's say EX and AY. No? Number two, add the components in the X direction to give summation of RX and add the components in the direction of Y to give summation of RY. No? That is, summation of RX is equal to A AX plus BX plus CX plus DX, so on and so forth. No? Ganon din ang RY, no? Summation of RY is equal to AY plus BY plus CY plus DY so on and so forth, no? Number three, find the magnitude of the resultant R from the components summation of RX and summation of RY from the Pythagorean theorem. In mathematical symbol, we have uh, R is equal to the square root of summation of Rx squared plus the summation of Ry squared. Number four, determine the direction of the resultant R using tangent function. So we have tangent theta is equal to summation of Ry over the summation of Rx. Now, example tayo guys. Compute the X and Y components of each of the vector A and vector B. Okay. So, solution. For X and Y components of vector A. So, for vector A muna tayo guys. So, we have X, uh, AX component and AY component. So, bubuo tayo ng right triangle, guys. Ito siya. Then, unahin muna natin yung AX. So, using trigonometric function. So, so we have sine 30 degrees is equal to AX over A, no? So, AX is equal to A times sine 30 degrees. Or yung AX is equal to negative 5 meters. So, ito siya guys. Now, for 
ay so gagamit tayo ng cosine 30 degrees is equal to ay over a or yung ay is equal to a times cosine 30 or ay is equal to 10 times cosine 30 degrees therefore yung ay is equal to 8.66 meters no? so guys now for letter b or victor b no so for x and y components for victor b so we have uh, component ng b along x and along y so bubuo tayo ng right triangle so unahin muna natin yung bx so we have cosine 35 degrees is equal to bx over b so yung bx is equal to 20 times cosine 35 degrees or yung bx is equal to uh, 16.38 meters so ito sa so guys then for by so gagamit tayo ng sine 35 degrees or is equal to by over b so yung by is equal to so 20 times a sine 35 degrees or yung by is equal to negative 11.47 meters so ito si guys so that's it guys so for the references then kita kits tayo sa part 2 no ng uh, physics 1 series